Why, hello everybody. This is your friendly neighborhood supply jam here. And this is five vital tips you need to know about the criminally insane. So, as you can probably guess, these guys are not the same as usual prisoners. They're temperamental, violent, and just downright loopy. But also, these guys are restricted and can do significantly less than normal prisoners. They literally see family, do programs, which is a few at best, and that's about it. So don't count on these guys doing any manual labor or earning you money as they can't do it. So bear that in mind if you're planning on building an asylum or having a large amount of these guys. For criminally insane, guards just don't cut the mustard and can't control the criminally insane, which is why you need these guys. Orderlies. These guys will calm your prisoners down if they start to get erratic, which you can see from the white gauge above their head. Transfer them to cells and programs and return them to their cells if they act up. They can be stationed manually, which I strongly suggest in areas like the canteen, common room, etc. So they can react quickly to prevent incidents from happening. So make sure you do so. With the incriminating insane, you need a psychiatrist, which does have its own office that you need to build. With this, you need to then book the specific program for these guys to attend. It is a one at a time, but you can book loads depending how many you have. This helps massively reduce your temperature of your inmates and reduces the chances of these guys acting out and make sure it's a psychiatrist, not a psychologist. They are completely different. So if the title didn't give it away already, once these guys become insane, they stay insane. You cannot convert them back to normal. Once they have become mentally insane, you can only keep them calm and that's about it. So if you have criminally insane switched on and you've got a mixed prison, keep an eye on your prisoner's needs. Because if you don't, and these guys get sad, angry, depressed, whichever, these guys will quickly convert to the crazy side, which there is no going back from. So with criminally insane not being able to work, this makes income very tight. So the best tip is to automate or remote control everything. With everything under CCTV or being remotely controlled by one or two guards, you can seriously reduce the amount of guards or orderlies you need to keep your prison or asylum under control. And with that in place, you'll keep on top of your incidents, have minimum staff and keep your income on an all time high. And that's it guys for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have making it. Don't forget to drop us a like or a subscribe or both. It's up to you. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.